Hey guys, today's workout is called mashed potatoes. This is going to be a three different time workout. So each workout will be for completion. On the zero minutes, you'll be doing five rounds of strict Cindy. Strict Cindy is five strict pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Then you'll go into 50 single dumbbell power cleans. Then at the eight minute mark, you'll do four rounds of strict Cindy, then 40 dumbbell goblet squats. Then at the 16 minute mark, you'll do three rounds of strict Cindy, 30 alternating clusters. You wanna think about this workout um, at an 85, 90% max effort. Okay, you want to be able to also have at least one minute rest before going into that next workout. Today's no equipment version of mashed potatoes is five rounds of Cindy. This version is 10 push-ups and 20 air squats. On the zero, you will perform five rounds of Cindy, 50 odd object ground to shoulder. Then at the eight minute mark, you'll do four rounds of Cindy, 40 odd object squats. Then at the 16 minute mark, you'll do three rounds of Cindy, 30 odd object thrusters. <laughs> okay, for mashed potatoes today, guys, our warm up is going to be two to three rounds of 30 seconds of dumbbell deadlifts, a 30 second wall sit, and then we're going to do 20 overhead arm circles and 10 inchworms. So, to start off, Nori is going to grab her dumbbell. These dumbbell deadlifts, she's going to stand the dumbbell upright, her back is flat. And from here, she's going to drive through her heels and stand a full extension. On the way down, she is pushing those hips back towards a wall. Dumbbell's gonna touch the ground and we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of those. Make sure that that dumbbell stays close to us, kind of over the middle of our foot the whole time. Good. Go ahead and set that down. Next up is a wall sit. So you're gonna find yourself on a wall. This is going to be our wall for now. Your back is gonna go flat up against it and you're going to sit down into a squat pressing our back against it, hands stay off of our legs, making sure we're squeezing our glutes the whole time. Stand up. Awesome. And then our overhead circles. So if you have small plates, you can do it with that. Um, but otherwise, we're going to place your arms straight up overhead and you're just going to move your arms in small circles, making sure we are warming our shoulders up. Um, you're going to do 10 one way and then 10 the other way just to make sure that we're getting both ways. Awesome. And then lastly, we're going to do 10 inchworm to push ups. So, standing at full extension, Noreen's going to bend down, touch her toes, and walk her hands all the way out. As she walks her hands out, her core is going to stay tight. She'll walk her hands back to her feet, feeling that stretch in her hamstrings and standing to full extension. <laughs> With mashed potatoes, there are a lot of different movements. So we are going to talk about Cindy first, and then we're going to go through each dumbbell movement. So Cindy is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. So starting with those pull-ups, Noreen is going to hop up on her bar. Her hands are just outside her shoulders. From here, she's going to do a scat pull-up, pulling those shoulder blades straight down, and then pulling those elbows back. That whole time, she's making sure she's in that hollow position. Her core is tight. Awesome, go ahead and grab. For our push-ups, Noreen is setting up in a plank position. Her core is tight, hands are just under her shoulders. On her way down, she's sending her elbows back towards her hips and pressing up. Think about pressing that ground away from us that whole time. Good, if we need to modify from there, we're gonna drop to our knees and do the same exact thing. Chest and thighs are touching the ground on our push-ups for a full rep. Ready, stand up. And then we will be doing air squats to round it out. So feet are shoulder width distance apart. From here, Noreen's gonna imagine she's sitting down in a chair. So she's reaching her hips back and down, and squeezing her glutes to stand up. Good, really focus on quality movement here, guys. We don't need to rush through these. So make sure we're driving our knees out. They are following our toes and we're driving up to our heels. Chest stays up, good. If you're doing the non-equipment version of Cindy, um, you are gonna be doing 10 push-ups in 15 air, or 10 push-ups and 20 air squats. Um, once again, push-ups, same uh, standards here. So for the equipment version, with your dumbbell, Noreen is going to grab her dumbbell. The first movement in the workout is going to be dumbbell power cleans. These power cleans, you're going to alternate every rep. So I would suggest starting with it between your feet. Um, from here, when Noreen sets up, she's gonna have a flat back. Dumbbell is close. She's going to explode up, keeping that dumbbell close to her body and drive that elbow through quickly. She catches it with her hips back, 
Then she'll stand to full extension. Awesome. That dumbbell's gonna come down, she'll switch arms. Good. So if you watch her from the side, go ahead and face that way, or either way, it doesn't matter. That dumbbell stays super close to her body the whole time. We wanna keep it close, a big shrug with our shoulder, drive that up, pull that elbow high and outside. Good. The next is dumbbell goblet squats. So she's gonna pick her dumbbell up, get it between our uh, body, and then from here, just the same as the squats, reaching our hips back and down, chest stays up that entire time. Good, standing straight up, squeezing our glutes. Our last movement is dumbbell clusters. So a cluster is a squat clean and then right into that overhead press. So it's gonna start between our legs, she's going to squat clean it, good, and drive straight up from there. Alternating every rep. On the squat clean of the cluster, she's making sure she opens up all the way and then drops under it, pressing straight overhead. Really be aggressive on that drive up, guys. It is going to help a lot. For the no equipment version of uh, this workout, you're going to be doing object to shoulder. Um, so, Doreen's got a backpack. She's going to grab the top, or she's gonna grab the sides of the backpack on this one. Just like that dumbbell power clean, she's going to explode up, keeping it close, and it's gonna tap each shoulder. Alternating shoulders every rep. One more for me. Good, and then with the odd object squats, she's grabbing the top and the bottom. She's holding it like a sandbag. There's a lot of different ways you guys can do this. Um, but from here, hips are gonna reach back and down, still staying, keeping that chest upright that whole time. And our last thing is odd object thrusters. So she's gonna turn that backpack, grabbing the top and bottom of it, um, keeping it in front of her the whole time. She's gonna sit back into those squats and press straight overhead, keeping that chest upright, going straight up, we're going from point A to point B, and that's gonna be the quickest way to get there. Okay, and 